Hey Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's have a look at what's going on in your connection. <coughs> okay, Capricorn, let's see. We have the overall energy for your week as. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I don't see a lot of movement right now. Okay, I feel Capricorn for a lot of you, there is someone out here who's diligently working towards a goal. Okay. But I feel this person out here is in no rush. Okay, I'm going to be very honest. I'm not going to sugarcoat any of this. This person out here clearly wants to be with you. All right. They're choosing and wanting to commit to you. Okay. But they will only make their move. They will make their next move only and only when they're ready. You want them to rush in. You want them to message you today, tomorrow. No, it's not happening today. It's not happening tomorrow. It's not happening next month. This is a very slow moving energy out here. They are zoned in on you. They want you. They're very loyal, very dedicated hard working but they have a certain process okay there's a certain procedure there's a certain certain way that they'd like to work things out with you and if you're expecting them to rush into with you that's not happening now let's see what's the knight of pentacles Yeah. <clears throat> so they love you. They want you. There's been a breakup out here. Okay. But they still want you. Okay. They want a relationship with you. But they're just not. They're, they're, they're coming in slow and steady. Okay. With the seven of swords out here, I feel this person here is strategizing. Like I said. All right. There's a lot of strategy going on about how they can come in towards you and how they can write along. Okay. This person is... Uh, I feel for a lot of you, this person has been doing this for a very long time. They're in and out, in and out, in and out of your life, which makes them very unreliable. Okay. So, yeah, this is someone out here who wants a relationship with you. The love is still there. Although you guys have gone your own ways, you know, or although there's been a split out here, but they're choosing to come back in. All right. But they want to do it very slow and steady. They're no, in no rush to come in towards you. All right. But I feel their intentions are genuine. Right. Oh, let's see what happened in the past. Something stopped moving forward because there was um, unrequited love. I think this was a, a relationship where there was a lot of long-term investment put into your side. I feel you worked and worked and worked and worked. You didn't give up till the end. Okay, that's the kind of relationship that you were in. But it just stopped moving forward. All right. And... Um, you were very close to the finishing line is what I'm getting. And all this happened because someone out here was very close off. Okay, maybe this was new love. It was these of cups in reverse. There was unrequited love in the past, which is why things stopped working. But you could have been pretty upset and hurt because you put in your all. You put in your 100%. Okay, ace of cups in reverse. Yeah, maybe someone had a lot of choices. All right. And... Um, You could be dealing with someone out here who had a lot of choices and you didn't you want to be a part of options. Okay, you didn't want to be the second choice. And um, yeah, I think you released yourself from this connection. A connection that you were holding on to, you know, or a connection that you felt very stuck and restricted to. I think you let it go. Yeah. Like I said, it was unrequited love. You gave and kept pouring from an empty bowl. All right. Yeah, you ended things, right? Because uh, for some, there could be a third party situation. For some of you, this person made you feel very betrayed, backstab. And uh, yeah, you just pulled away your energies. You were like, you know what? I'm not going to be the only one who's going to be putting in all the work out here to try and make it work out. So either you're with me and we work together, side by side, together, or then I don't put in the work at all and I end it. And that's what you chose to do. You didn't feel supported is what I'm getting, okay? You wanted support, but this person wasn't supported. Maybe they were with you, but they didn't support you at the right time, okay? Which is which kind of pissed you off, all right? And you just stopped putting in, a, a, putting in any kind of action or any kind of energy into the situation because you put in enough. Now, in the current situation we have, You could be dealing with someone out here who is non-committal, who's obsessed with their money, 
this is very materialistic person someone who out here who who just does um, um this person will put money over anything else this person is unfaithful this person out here could be someone who's not being able to offer you the stability and commitment that you want which is why there's a breakup right now and i feel you've completely given up on this person seven of wands in reverse i feel you just walked away seven of wands in reverse please it is just someone non criminal seven of wands in reverse they could be into illegal stuff all right seven of wands in reverse yeah you you you're holding back from this person okay you're just choosing to be very very logical it is what it is is what you're saying that if there's been a split between you both right now it must be for a reason is what you're telling yourself you're making a very head over heart decision and holding yourself back from this temptation holding yourself back and putting in your entire inner strength you know not to give in and not to uh, let this person take over okay i feel a lot of you are still in love with this person very attracted to this person because i do feel the love is still there on both the sides but you guys are not seeing eye to eye but the thing is that if there is no commitment if there is no stability if this person is coming up as so unreliable you don't even want to fight for this anymore okay so yeah this person makes you feel very insecure king of pentacles in reverse yeah this person out here gave you sleepless nights all right this is someone out here who lacks the structure they uh weren't very good planners not being a provider out here all right someone who's a control freak always wanting the upper hand all right and this was becoming a big burden on you and along with that it also gave you sleepless nights is what i'm getting this person out here does have a lot of remorse and regret about what happened out here but for you it's like over and done with if i don't get uh the attention that i deserve if i don't get the offer that i deserve and you're not ready to set things right with me then i'm done and i'm over and done with it and i don't even want to fight for this anymore you're no longer investing into this person now in the future we have there's still a lack of commitment in the future but i see this person out here trying to um you know um they're not going to let you go by the way you think it's over it's not capricorn it's not this person still isn't changing they're still not changing their ways they're still not changing their approaches to make things right to set things right between you and them uh they're watching you from a distance out here fly for the 10 of pentacles in reverse i feel that their family could be a problem for some of you maybe you guys are from different backgrounds okay uh for some of you um um religion or you know some kind of tradition is also in between fathers of you this person could already be married all right and they're not being able to end that marriage in order for them to come towards you successfully so what they do is they keep an eye on you and they watch you from a distance uh what's the page of swords in reverse so this is fine not saying anything page of swords in reverse they want to take a leap of faith okay but they're emotionally still shut off very blocked emotionally okay it's like a lot of repressed emotions out here they're being very overly sensitive is also what i'm getting so even if they want they want a new beginning with you but that hopelessness where you know what it's over and done with and capricorn's never giving me another chance again it's eating them you know so their uh, that will power okay that will power is missing okay in order for uh them to let bygones be bygones and you know give this a second chance or try and salvage the connection out here they're still living in a lot of this little crying was felt milk okay which is why they're watching you from a distance they want to take a leap of faith for sure for sure they want to but they're in that negative pattern until they don't stop overthinking till they don't still they keep resisting and ending to a certain pattern or a thought pattern this cycle will still will stay stagnant Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of inner confusion. This person is very confused. They're very confused. Um, again, I'm getting sleepless nights for a lot of you. Uh, fear, you know. This person has a lot of fear. They still lack clarity. They're just wanting some more time. This person wants to buy time. See, Knight of Pentacles, Temperance. See. this person out here if you really really want to be with this person capricorn give them some time the love is there their heart they want to make this happen 
not now but in the near future they want to okay but there's something that they're still not being able to end like i said this could be a negative thought pattern this could be a certain cycle that they're not being able to end in their life which is stopping their growth or which is stopping them from coming towards you it could be a certain situation that that's already ended but they're holding on to it due to fear or they just want to stay in their comfort zone if that's the biggest problem out here let's just clarify that why is the death in reverse but they need more time and if you're not giving them time then the temperance out here is telling you that patience is required in a very very slow moving connection slow moving situation what's the death in reverse they're doubting it okay it's the pattern out here it's the pattern out here very critical they're very critical about this connection they're constantly like thinking only negatively about this connection all right and um they want to make you an offer they want to make you an offer but they're so so fearing rejection or fearing of getting hurt there's so much of fear of getting hurt and fear of rejection they're watching you from a distance keeping an eye on you but still doubting it you are the one who makes them very very happy and they know that they know that that realization is there that they that they screwed up that the only person that they ever loved was you all right and you put in your all you gave in your 100% your 110% once they shut off to this connection or there was unrequited love in the past which is why you had to end things because like i said you weren't feeling supportive enough you weren't feeling like you had them with you you guys were not walking together you know maybe sometimes you were behind and they were ahead or sometimes you were ahead and they were behind but you guys were just never at par together okay and the worst is they wouldn't support you at the right time when you really really needed it is what i'm getting <clears throat> so yeah that's what i'm getting out here this person is still holding on to the connection they haven't given up okay but it's just going to be very slow moving painfully slow but if you give them a little time out here they will commit to you at the right time okay so this is going to come off as a shocker to you because for you it's already over but you have no idea what they are thinking right now the thinking of committing in fact they are committed to you but they haven't taken that action as yet okay this is someone who's more of a thinker less action that's what i have for you all right i hope this reading resonates and uh do leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye